Join us today on the channel for a game of Battlefleet Gothic. We are playing Convoy, where the Tau fleet needs to escort its transports through chaos-infested space. Welcome back to the channel. We're playing Battlefleet Gothic again. We are playing Battlefleet Gothic, and we're trying something different this time, because what have you got up your sleeve? What have you brought? Tau. Tau. They're yeah. green, and they're weird shapes. They are weird shapes. They're very not imperial, is it? They're it's very round and they're, gross. They're more like planes, in fact, than regular proper spaceships. They have the guns down the sides. And blocks. Yes, very, very strange. Uh, we're doing a very small game, guys. We are doing a game of Convoy mission, I can't remember. One of the missions in the core rulebook for Battlefleet Gothic. This is a very small fleet you're running, mm. because your objective isn't to kill me, it's to escape and escort some transports off the other side of the field. I mean, while I'm bringing, I've gone whoops all escorts, because I have a randomly generated fleet. Hooray! <laughs> Be interesting to see how it goes. I'm running Chaos, because uh, that's the only fleet I have that's got lots and lots and lots of escorts to play with. Um... We'll get into it in a second. We'll go through the list. That won't take any time at all. Mm. Uh, guys, if you do enjoy watching our content, particularly Battlefleet Gothic, but the other games we do as well, uh, obviously, let us know, let us know please. Uh, either via a like, comment, subscribe, all of that obviously helps us out and is much appreciated. Um, if you do want to help us out more, there is a link to our composite games, or composite games, a link to them in the description. For our uh, affiliate link. That's the term I'm looking for. Anything you buy for them, you get a bit of a discount and it helps out the channel. We've got our Patreon link down there as well, and so on and so forth. But obviously, no expectation of that. Mm. Shall we go through our lists and see, so. see if you can pronounce these town names? I can't. I don't think you can. No. <laughs> so, it's time for the list. I now have to learn what town names are. <laughs> so, to start off with, I have a pair of Emissary Class Cruisers. That's not the name of the town ship. It is. What's the actual name? Il Pori. The, the Popery uh, Light Cruisers. The Pauperous. <laughs> the Pauperous Light Cruisers. If we shouldn't do the town names. The Class Cruisers. They're in Borken configuration, mm -hmm. which means things. Yes. Um, I think it means which like which guns are ions and rail cannons is kind of pre-designed. Yeah. There's three different loadouts. Basically, they're light cruisers. Uh, they've only got four hits each, I think. Yes. So they, uh, but they are quite manoeuvrable. Yes. They've got Tau torpedoes, which can turn after firing. And I can't remember if you've got rail guns or ion cannons on them. Which are your... Rail guns. And yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> rail guns are your equivalent of weapons batteries. Ion cannons are your equivalent of lancers, I yes. believe. Yes, correct. Which work, fortunately, we have to know, identically to Imperial ones. Yes, there's no weird slightly like, ah, oh, but also. Yes. Tau are actually fairly straightforward. Thankfully. Other than missiles. Yes. But even then, and also escorts are weird. But more in terms of how your list construction works than anything else. Yeah. You'll be fine. Yeah. So um, you've got two of those. Two of those. They're probably gonna be squadroned. Okay. Because you get more missiles in a big salvo. It's mm -hmm. cool. Um then we've got the hero class cruiser. This is the big boy. He's mm. chunky. He is chunky. Uh, la La Shi. La Shi. La Shi. Okay, good. <laughs> Dan is going to do the entire battle report in Taoese. I'm sure. <laughs> I then have a squadron of three escorts that are Warden class or Killer. 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 They'll no, kill. Kier. Kier. La. Oh, right. Killer. There's an R on the air. Yeah. All right. So Killer. Very good. Like Keir Starmer. Right. La. Keir, Keir Starmer's escorts. Yes. Yeah, Keir Starmer escorts. A squadron of three Keir Starmers. Let's not do that. Let's not go down that. <laughs> down that route. And then there are. Eight light crew, light transports, or regular transports. Yeah, you wish they were light cruisers. Yeah, I wish they were light cruisers. But uh, this, yeah, there's a lot of them, and then one heavy, heavy transport. Yeah, these aren't part of your list as such, are they? They're more your objective markers. Yeah, they have guns on and toughness. Um, yeah, toughness is a word. They technically, um, have guns. Yes. The way this mission works, we'll go into what much, much we set up in detail, but basically Dan has to escort them off the battlefield, so they are effectively moving objective markers that I'm trying to kill. And I'm trying to Protect. keep alive. Yeah, yes. that's the word. Keep alive. My fleet 
such as it is, uh, it involved rolling on a bunch of tables. You can tell this is an old Games Workshop game, because I basically got D3 rolls on this table, plus one per two transports you have. So D3 plus five. Um, and then rolled on a table, and that's what I actually have got nine transports. One is a heavy transport, which counts as two. Uh, so, I'll tell you what I've got, but we'll go through deployment and how it works in a moment. I have a squadron of three idolaters. These are the best escorts I can get. These have lances, weapons batteries, long range, and so on. I have D3 plus one bombers. We'll see how many bombers there actually is when they turn up. Excellent. I have D3 plus one dreadclaws, which nice. are my boarding pods. I have D3 bombers and one fighter, which should again be activated when you bump into them. I have a squadron of four infidels. These are my torpedo mode escorts, so that's combined salvo strength eight. I fear the mighty escort torpedo salvo. I do. I have a solitary uh, actual capital ship, my Inferno, which is long range, lances and weapons on the side, weapons on the chin as well, which are front, left and right. That's my only capital ship. And I have a squadron of four Iconoclasts, which are nippy, weapons batteries, but only armour four. Ooh. So they will be torn apart if you point a gun at them. Those die easy. Yes. Now, it might sound like I'm horrifically outgunned. However, Dan doesn't see my ships when I put them down. He sees my contact markers. Spooky. Spooky. Because who knows where I'm hiding in the depths of space. I could be hiding there, I could be hiding there. Who knows what a marker even is? It could be a few Dreadclaws, it could be a cattle ship. You won't know until you get closer. I hope it's Dreadclaws. It's probably Dreadclaws. <laughs> There's a one in seven chance that it's uh, a capital ship. Oh good. Yes. So, we'll explain once we're fully deployed. But that's it. That's what I've got to try and kill your transports with. Let's uh, get the mission set up. Okay, we are... I was going to say we're deployed. I'm deployed. You're deployed. You have tokens out. I have tokens out. So the way this mission works, Dan has his ten, well, his nine transports. Eight transports and one heavy transport. The goal is to escort these ships, maybe they're Imperial civilians fleeing the war zone, and the Tau have to escort them from this board edge all the way along to the other board edge. If they make it off the board, if Dan has at least three make it, he gets a major win. If he has two make it, he gets a minor win. If only one makes it, I get a minor win. And if none make it, I get a major win. Now, as Dan said, my fleet is not here. But we have these contact markers numbered one through seven. When Dan moves within 30 centimeters of one of them, it will be flipped and will reveal what it actually is. Also, at the start of my turn, I can flip one voluntarily and reveal it and then obviously act with it. Or two, if any of the transports are on all the head full orders because they're easier to detect. Dan, you're automatically going to get first turn. Uh, quick thing about terrain, we've got a few asteroid fields, and these things here are dust clouds, effectively counting as blast markers if you, if you are within them. I think that's really all we need to go over. It should be a very quick, yeah. brutal game one way or the other. It's gonna, yeah. yeah, someone's going to lose quite quickly. <laughs> cool. Well, we'll get started. You automatically have first turn, as I said, so we'll come back at, in the shooting phase if there even is one. Yay! Okay, we are into the shooting phase, and there is a bit of shooting. Yeah, not a lot. Not a lot. Uh, Dan, what have you done? I probably should have put it on lock-on, but I forgot. Yeah. Well, you, yeah, I guess yeah. more, didn't you? Yeah. You, uh... yeah, I should have put them on lock-on thinking about it, but it doesn't matter. Yep. Um, right, so... You've been surprised. Why yes. are there enemy ships here? So, these escorts here are firing at these. Yes, so that marker there, marker 7, turned out to be a squadron of four iconoclasts. So I get to set them up, whatever facing I want, as long as they're in formation, and any bar the first one are further away than the first one. They're all beam, all facing this way toward me. So your shots are not going to be very accurate. No. But you're looking for fours to hurt Iconoclast because they're yes. made of tissue paper. So I have one weapon or one railgun out of. Yeah, from your six. Oh, I am yeah. going to brace because there is quite a bit of firepower coming my way. Leadership eight, uh, pass. Just and braced for impact. Cool, I'll put you on braced. No. Okay. Uh, then three lances. Uh, okay. Looking for fours. So first one will knock out the first guy's shield. Yep. And the second one, four up, brace for impact save, which I make. Boo. So then, three weapons batteries from these guys, but they can only hurt this one. Yes. I expect he's going to die. I hope so. Only one. Okay. Four up, brace save, which I make. Boo. And then one from this. From the hero. From the hero class. Which hits. Hits. Brace. <laughs> okay. Boo. Okay, fine. Uh, apparently it's not made of tissue paper. Yes. 
Or yeah. it is, but the, the crew are very strongly holding the tissue paper together. Yes. Is that all you're shooting? That's all my shooting, yes. So, straight on to ordnance sending. I see you're picking up a torpedo. Yes, I am launching an torpedo salvo. Don't want to launch... No, I might have to keep them separate, actually. Okay. Think about it. So, tower torpedoes, for those not familiar with them, they have variable move. They can move between 20 and 40. And after the first turn they move, they get a free 45 degree turn. However, for every turn after the turn they launch, they possibly lose drones. Which we'll see if that happens when they actually come into play. Yes. So we're going basically minimum distance at strength four. Okay. I think. I'll double check. So four or three. I believe it's four. Yeah, we'll check in a moment. Uh, and I'll figure out bombers in a moment. We'll see at the start of Alex's turn. Yeah, they're not going to reach me this turn, so you're going to launch something. Yes, there will be bombers and fighters. Actually, one second, thinking about it. It is worth launching one of these, because they can go straight through. Uh, they're only straight three. Okay. Fair enough. Can you, you can launch strength three torpedo salvos separately, can't you? Yes, because they're from separate ships. Yes, cool. Um, so this guy will launch his full 40 centimetres. Okay. Basically. Is that going to hit me and go through? Just straight to there. Very good. So how many actually hit me? So three dice hitting on fours. Uh, turrets first. Do you have any turrets? Oh, yeah. Good you point. have an turret. I have an turret. That's, uh, didn't, that doesn't matter. Two. So two hits, fire pass down to one, two brace saves, which I may One. One of. So he does die. Does right. die. That's down to strength one. And he's replaced with blast marker. And it will then turn 45 degrees to be like that. So it makes its turn at the start of the ordnance phase. Oh, start. I thought it's yeah. the end. Uh. But in the ordnance phase, you'll get to turn it and then move it. Yes. Right. Very good. First blood to you. Makes sense. Back to the chaos turn one. So we have moved on to Alex's turn. The chaos have moved. There's things have awoken. We've got Thunderhawks here. We've got a. Uh, I. That is. Uh, Inferno class? Inferno! Inferno, Inferno class. Light crew or Inferno class crews over the Mark of Corn, just in case it comes up because it had 200 points to spare. These are not actually Thunderhawks, these are just being filled with bombers. I've not made any actual bomber tokens yet, so Boo. sorry, I know, I know. Um, so those are my two markers I choose to reveal, uh, and they have now moved. I think the crews have started here, they'll move in the ordnance phase. My Iconoclast destroyers have flown over here. One basically had to stop in the gas cloud. They're going to die, but they might trade up by killing the transport first. We'll, we'll have to see. And that's it. My other markers have yet to be revealed. Ooh, spooky. So, shooting. I'm going to start with my Iconoclasts. They are going to put their shots into the transports, the light transports here. We did some maths. We did some maths. When it's all said and done, I'm on two shots uh, because they are braced and one of them is a beam as well and firing through the blast marker it's in because that's what the gas cloud count says. I'm looking for five, so get a double, double five that'll kill a transport. Dan, do you want to brace? No, I'm banking on you not rolling double fives. It's never been done before, has it? Yeah. Nope. Nothing. Sweet. <laughs> uh, okay, and then my cruiser over here is just within 60 of just your bombers. I'm going to fire my Prowl Weapons Battery, Firepower 6, becomes a Firepower 1, I look for a 6 to hit ordnance. Might get lucky. I get lucky. Boo! They are removed. What? Wah. Thank God for that. <laughs> okay, and then the ordnance. So my ordnance moves first, I'll move my bombers. It's very straightforward, these guys are just going to go pretty much straight at you. And then your ordnance goes. So, you know what you're doing with it? You want so yeah, move this, you? this one here, I will move, will basically move directly towards your ship. Okay. 40 centimetres. Maybe not for any sixes. Nope, they all live. Okay. So 40 centimetres in what? Straight line? Straight line towards you. Very good. Because I'll move again before you get to move. That is correct and horrifying. Okay. Uh, and this set will also turn 45. And go straight for him. Okay, so... Go about 20. Go 20, because then you can turn, turn again. Yeah. It does fly through my bombers, but bombers and torpedoes ignore each other. They have no ability to kill each other. They are friends, you see. They are friends. They understand each other. Torpedoes are a bomber's best friend. Yeah, to what, I mean, torpedo's basically a bomber, or a bomber is basically a torpedo. They, they, they understand each other. Yeah. Okay, that's my turn. Uh, no damage. <laughs> well, I killed your bombers. All right, it is Tau turn two. 
Um, Dan, where are we? What's going on? How did orders go? Uh, I got reload on the hero. Yes, what a hero he is. Hero, absolute hero. Uh, I then tried to reload with the... Emissaries. Emissaries. <laughs> the... Il Pori. Yeah, the, the Popery. The, the, the Pauperous. Yes. Um, and they failed instantly. Yeah, so that's oh, you got God. the names wrong. You phoned them and said, reload, and they said, who are you talking to? You've got the wrong number. Who dis? So, reloaded with the, the cruiser, but not with the light cruisers. Yes. Which is fine, because I really want him to reload the most anyway, because bombers. Yep. And at that point, it meant no all head falls for your transports, and instead they are gunboats now. Yes. So they are surrounding my poor innocent iconoclasts. Yes. So we are starting off in the shooting phase with these three into your iconoclast, because okay. this is my highest strength weapon battery. That is surprising. <laughs> Um, I am going to brace, because if I just draw your fire and waste your time, that's that's a good thing for me, and I pass. So they are braced once again. Ooh, so, hitting on fours. Oh dear. Oh, that's oh, one, two. That's about average. One, so not one blast. Yep. On this guy here, which is going to hit me as well. Interesting. And then one save. Which I make. Boo. Uh, we'll then do these three here. Okay. Which can go... Uh, I think it's down to... You. Three. Okay. Is that including the fact going through a blast marker now? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, it's just yeah. from four down to three. Very good. And the fours. No. 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 Nothing. Okay. This is peculiar. Uh, these two it will be into you closing. So you are troop four closing. You are three again. Okay. Two more. Two or more. So I'll have a shield on the front one. So be shield on him. Just going to also knock out the shields on one of those transports. Yep. And the other one, four up save, which I fail. There we go. He is dead. He's dead. Excellent. He's dead. Can I have another blast marker, please? I suppose that's fair. Thank you. Um, the heavy one, well then, the heavy transport has... Where is he? Yeah, he has port and starboard weapon batteries. Incredible. That's something yeah. on the prow. Yeah. It's a transport. He does have a dorsal weapon battery as well. Oh, wow. Okay. So, so where's his, that going to go? So his left well, side... You t they all target the squadron, don't they? And then yeah. just... So yeah, the right side ones, which are three... Strength three, a beam, escorts... Counts as firing for a blast marker because I'm in the yeah, dust cloud. Yeah, it's just one. Just one. Looking for a four. Nope. nope. Uh, He's they, touching a blast marker, so probably the same again. Yeah. Nope. nope. And the dorsal... Yes. yes. So into this guy with no shield, because he's the closest. He's fine. He's fine. Boo. So that's all my transport shot. Okay. But now you've got actual military ships as opposed to your school buses. Yes. The school bus is full of children. Yes. Um, and, I don't know. Must save the children. Yes. So they are strength. So these ones have firepower two each. That's front only. Is that like front only? Oh. Anyway, that's oh. front only. Oh, damn. Well, so they just have with those. three, three uh, rail cannons or ion cannons instead. So these are lance ones. Yes. Which are basically weapons batteries against these. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Two. Okay, two hits. So also, uh, they're front and right, aren't they? So yeah. So they both hit. their shields are down because he's in the dust cloud. So you got both. Both of them explode. Oh, that's irritating. Uh, I guess only one of them becomes a. Well, we get a blast marker in a blast marker. Uh, okay. We get well, blast why not? We get blast marker exception. So there's extra blast there, but they are removed, and that's a big chunk of my fleet gone. Hooray! Right, next up will be basically everything here is going to shoot at your bombers. Do you want to fire your prowl lances at my bombers as well from your escorts. No, those were the, uh, your prowl weapons batteries, even. Oh yes, uh, prowl weapons batteries. The so strength six. Yes, because I can shoot at different targets, can't I? Yeah. Uh, so strength six, uh, one. Okay. Uh, oh, you are within. Not within 15. It is one. Okay. No. No, nothing. Cool. Right. The emissaries have a total railgun battery of 16. Okay. What does that become against escorts? Uh, three. Okay. A single six will knock out the wave, though. Nope. Oh, it's like dancing. <laughs> uh, and then the hero. Hero has railgun battery of strength four, which becomes. A one. No. And then lances of four. Oh, he also has torpedoes that I missed last time. Oh, oh okay. The whole wave is gone. Excellent. Well, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Death. I can launch both torpedoes and bombers in the same. Yes, you can. Cool. So, I mean, ordnance. 
Um, so launch a new ordnance and then move your old ordnance. Yep, so we're getting some more bombers from him. Okay. Moving in this direction to come deal with whatever comes out of there, maybe, mm -hmm. unless it's ordnance. Yeah, as far as I can tell from the rules, guys, um, ordnance doesn't trigger markers, so they just move. They, they don't detect anything yet. And he gets a strength six torpedo salvo. That would have been quite nice to have last turn. Floating around the field right now. These can be up to 40. So they're not going to be able to reach there, so if they only go 20, they can turn them next can time. Can they get in the way? Yeah. That's the question. Yes. The answer is almost indefinitely yes. Yes. Almost indefinitely. Almost indefinitely. But not quite indefinitely. Okay. <laughs> and then your torpedo's already in play. Are they going to fly into my... Inferno? Yes. He's going to turn to turn. Can we turn? Get yes. to live. And then flies into me. I have two turrets. Yep. I kill him. Boo! And then this one. Don't need to turn, so... Uh, you still have to roll every turn. Oh, okay, it's every turn, is it? Yeah. So we don't have any firepower at all. So you've got three to kill. Two turrets. I knock out none. So they're going to go through. We'll move it afterwards to see how many survive. Yep. Fives um, for a cruiser. Nothing. Nothing. They all go past me. Yep. What is the... Do you want to go 30 or do you want to fly off into the abyss as quickly as possible? <laughs> Watch you go 30 and maybe catch something else at the end. Cool. I got a very lucky there. Yes. Um, is that your turn? Yes. Okay. I'm back in a moment then for Chaos turn 2, 3. We're on turn 3 already, aren't we, actually? Turn, turn, no, turn, turn 2. Turn 2. Turn 2. Yeah. Turn two. Yeah. Numbers. So we are into Alex and the Chaos turn 2. Yes. Um, there's Dreadclaws here now. That's mm. annoying. Yes. And the, the fire is up here. Yes, the Inferno has locked on, is what Dan's trying to say there. <laughs> um, and yeah, I've revealed that marker, so that is a squad, squadron of four, or a wave of four Dreadclaws, even. They're range 30. They're just out of range to reach anything this turn, unfortunately, but they'll be relevant in future turns. That's the plan. So I've only got one ship. <laughs> um, I am going to put everything from the Inferno into your emissaries. When all said and done, there'll be six weapons and two lances with lock on. I will, in fact, brace. Okay. Or attempt to, at least. I do brace. You do brace. Hooray, braced. Well, you're not launching any ordnance next turn. That's the, that's the... One thing. That's the important thing. What's the armour? Five. Five. It's five. So, weapons first. Looking for fives. Re oh, oh dear. Oh, yeah, well, okay. So that is four, and then re-roll misses. That's five. five. So, first one goes against the shield. Yep. And then... And then four brace saves. One at a time, because they've only got... Oh, it's got four hits, so yeah. this can at most kill it on the nose. Uh, I save one. Far off, is it? I save one. So, so three. three. Are any of them crits? Oh, yeah, two, two of them are crits. Alex. First crit is a six, which is entering damage as plus one damage. Okay. Uh, so, uh, do you want to roll 2d6? Can I brace against that? Um, no, you can't brace against the additional damage from crits. Oh, so, yeah, not that I know of. So... Uh, do you want to roll 2d6 and see what happens to him? I hope he's just... He's well, just a hug. He's just okay. a hug. And a blast marker goes where his shields used to be. Well, that worked. Yeah. Well, then fire the lances. How come you're allowed to roll well and I'm not? It's a bit rude, isn't it? It's two hits. So I'll knock out the shield in the first one and then a single brace. Which, which I fail. fail. Okay, one one out of five braces. It's not a crit, though. Excellent. Okay, well, that's that was a, that was a shooting phase. Yeah. Um, ordnance, however, this is where you're going to hit me back. My yes. dread claws are basically going to go round the asteroid field. They're going to end up about here. Sweeping around behind you because I've flown into asteroid fields of ordnance before and it's gone terribly. And I only really have like two ordnance markers in this entire game. Mm. And no ability to launch more. Uh, then your ordnance goes. So I think I'll go first with the torpedoes. Okay. So roll six dice to see which how many stay alive. Yep. Uh, I kill two of them off. So down strength four. Ooh. That makes it interesting where, what to target with my turrets. turrets. And whether or not to brace. Because your bombers are coming in as well. I am going to brace because there's a lot coming my way. And I've killed a ship so I'm in a good position. So brace. No, I'm not braced. Excellent. And I will fire my turrets at... At the bombers, because you could spike with them, whereas the torpedoes are only four. So torpedoes then fly into me. Hitting on five. Indeed. 
With none, excellent. And how far do you want to go? Uh, basically end up here. Yep, so you're gonna just clear me. These tiny dice were a good idea. Yes, love my tiny dice. Well, I got very lucky there, and I and then your bombers are gonna fly into me. Yep. Turrets. I knock out one. Cool. So the other one then gets d6 minus two attack runs. Okay, three, three. attack runs. Three hits. Damn. Oh god, okay. You are lucky that I can't roll dice. And I failed to brace, so I didn't even have the problem of having to brace, yeah. I guess. Is that bomber gone now? Sorry? Is that it's gone, gone. yeah. Bombers are removed, regardless. That was awful. That was terrible. Yeah. Alex. Yeah, sorry. Uh, and this torpedo here? Uh, flies off. Uh, goes to, like, here. Yeah. So, yeah, just cargo through the astrofield all the time. Skim the very edge of it. Yeah. Facing that. Yeah. Marker to... If it activates, it will fly into it and kill it, I assume. That's the intention. If it turns its engines on. Well, that went extraordinarily well. Far better than it had any right to. Um, my right. turn. My turn. Boop. All right, Tau turn. Dan, how's movement going? How did, how did orders go, buddy? I managed to reload on the hero again. Yep. Uh, I then tried to lock on with these guys, and they failed. Yep. And so we're keeping track of one order so far per turn. Yes. Uh, so you're, you're bringing all of your actual tower ships to bear on the Chaos Cruiser. Yep, and the transports are all shuffling down this edge slowly. Yeah, very much slowly, because they're flying through glass markers at 15 centimetres a turn. We might be done by the middle of next week. <laughs> Hooray. But first... Uh, yeah, so shooting, what are you going to shoot with? These are going to shoot at him. Okay, so the Wardens into the Inferno. Inferno. I'm going to brace because I've got lots of stuff coming on my way. And I do. So first off, two weapons batteries. One, so that's a, your first shield. Indeed. The two shields, isn't it? two shields. And then three lances. That is my second shield. Uh, why do we not have any blast markers now? You got one there, good. Well, any more, we can start traveling, but we can remove these and they're not a huge problem. Yeah, we also have a whole bag of them there, just to be able to get them out. Uh, we will then do this ship. Yep. It is one shot, weapons battery shot, remaining into... Yep, because he is braced into the Dreadclaws, so a Dreadclaws. single shot, a single six wipe out the wave. Nope. Uh, then the hero will put his weapons battery into these. Okay. A uh, single one, and his uh, rail ion cannons into the... Into the cruiser. Cruiser. Okay, so Dreadclaws, nope. And then looking for fours, the lances. Two, so that's two saves. Two brace saves. I'm sure you make both of them. Uh, make one. Boo. Is that all the crit? Yes. No. Boo. And down to seven hits. Cool. But braced, so firepower reduced somewhat. Yes, which is excellent. Uh, and then, on to the Ordens. Yes, what do you want to launch? Um, I want to launch torpedoes and bombers. Okay, oh no. Oh dear. Okay, um, in what order? Or how do you want to do it? Uh, we'll do torpedoes first. Okay. Because they're going to hit you. Yeah, they might get wiped out by the blast marker. So yes. Let's roll dice for that first. Well, six, the wave dies. There's Corso your six. can roll sixes now. Oh, dear. <sighs> and then your bombers? Um, do I want to go bombers or do I want to go fighters and go kill some dreadclaws? That's a good question. Each fighter would remove one dreadclaw. Yeah, I might just go launch two. Yeah, I'm just going to go kill two dreadclaws. Cool, so we'll just knock off the first two. Which I think is probably a good use of... You're removing assets permanently by doing that. Because yeah. again, I have a finite amount of stuff. But that torpedo salvo. Oh, this, game, well. this game today. Yeah. And uh, speaking of torpedo salvos, what are you doing with these ones? They're going to move up to there. How many, how many get to live? I'll use your dice instead. Because <laughs> they're better, apparently. Yes. Okay. And then this one up here. It's down to a single torpedo that is kind of academic at this point. We will turn 45, and we only move 20. Yep. There's the four drones slowly run out of fuel and out of space. It's actually very, very dramatic and very sad. A single tear rolls down the drone's face. Why they installed tear ducts, no one knows. We're very strange. Words. Are you done? Uh, apparently so. Okay, I'm going to move my drag claws. I don't think I'm going to do anything particularly dreadful this turn. I'm not going to hit. Ah, dreadful. Can my dread claws, if you can measure for me, so I don't try and do a one-handed measure, can they reach your surviving emissary? How far do they move? 30. 30. So base to base for ordnance. Uh, yeah, why not? And how many turrets does an emissary have? Uh, two. Two. 
Uh, what else am I going to do with them? Yeah, we'll do that. They're going to go and board your emissary. So you're, they fly into your emissary. They're removed either way. You get your two turrets. Come on, double fours. Oh, there's one removed. Okay. So one of them will smash into you, and it's just boards you automatically. So it's a single D6 on the crit table. Six! That's my engine rooms. So that's an extra damage. Oh, that's you crippled. If you took one point of damage previously. Yeah, thanks, Alex. No worries, buddy. Uh, that was... God, this is horrible. <laughs> Stop doing this to me, please. It's also my turn now. Yeah, this is not fun. No. Back in a moment for my turn. So we're into Alex's turn three. Yes. After my unsuccessful turn three. <laughs> Very unsuccessful. Oh but there's these things here. The I, 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 Infidels. Infidels. Infidels, idolaters, iconoclasts, and an inferno. I don't see why you're finding this difficult. <laughs> Um, these are infidels, so these are torpedo boats, firepower 2 torpedo, firepower 2 weapons battery, and then fire up armor. So they came in from over here, moved the 30 to get to here, and we are just within range to put torpedoes down range here, or put them in the path of the hero, which is probably what we're going to do. The Inferno cruiser flew through the asteroid field while braced. I was thinking if I do fly into the asteroids, I'm already braced, so may as well. It passed the ship anyway, so he made it out the other side. That's fine. So, and that's it. That's all I got. My Dreadclaws have done their job, sort of. Actually, they've definitely done their job. They've crippled your emissary. Yeah, unfair. Yes. So, shooting. Um, I'll start with the Inferno. I've already rolled to see if he can target something that isn't the closest. He can. He's going to try and get the kill shot on the emissary. But bring, being braced, this is not many shots. So, firepower 10, half to firepower 5, becomes firepower 2 with the weapons and a single lance afterward. Do you want to brace? No, I'm alright. You've got to hit with all of these. So, so five. weapons, fives. One hit. So my shield is down. Okay. So you can't kill it this turn. Unless no, you... but it'll slow you Well, you, you could down. if you crit. I could. You shouldn't say things like that. Because you're going to crit. You're going to hit. No, so you didn't miss. hit. Hooray. But you are now minus 10 to your movement speed. Yes. Um, for being both crippled and touching a blast marker. So you might start to fall out of formation. My infidels. Firepower to each. Firing at escorts. Uh, most of them are a beam. So if make, make things simple. They're all firing at ones that are a beam. So we're down to firepower two. Hooray. You brace them? Uh, no, I'll leave it. Nope. So fives. That is one. That's my shield. So we'll knock out the shield on the closest one. Yep. Very good. And then ordnance. I will fire a single strength eight salvo. From measuring from the back, I'm going to put it in the path of the hero. So unless you burn retros, you're going to fly into it. That's probably fine. You should be fine. Probably fine. You should be fine. Right? It's fine. It'll just do what mine did. Torpedoes famously do nothing, as we've seen so far. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that'll be my turn. Excellent. Oh, your, your torpedoes keep going if they matter at this point. Do they burn out anyway and save us the uh, trouble? These two. Nope. Nope. Can you measure me like 30 centimetres to there? Yep. And that one? Doesn't burn out. The and suffering it'll continues. Just, it'll disappear off. It's not it's going no to be able to turn around. Okay, back to you. Right, tower turn. Uh, Dan, you've performed what's called a high-risk manoeuvre. Yes. Um, so, your movement. You, you got off all the orders, I think. Yeah, oh, I got off a lot one. of the orders. So, I got reload. On the hero. Reload. Reload on the emissary. Lock on, which I then realised was meant moving through the torpedoes. But we're doing it anyway, because <laughs> no guts, no glory, etc. and so forth. So, we'll see how that goes in a moment before you show you that bit. And then these guys managed to both... All I had four, and these both failed. Very good. Uh, I did, however, forget to do... Oh, yes. The Hulk. Um, will he go for that blast marker? Yes. Yes, he will. Okay, so roll a dice. On a six, you take a point of damage. He does. Now, roll on the critical damage table. What's a ten? That's a bad thing. Okay, so when he gets to there, he... Um... Pressure for damage, ten. Half of starting damage. A Each two. Three d six. That's a big blast radius. Yeah, that's 13 centimetres. Okay. It's really going to hit all my stuff, isn't it? Like, yeah, oh, it's not going to hit mine. <laughs> oh, it hit your torpedoes, though. Oh, okay. Yep. Interesting. And yes. Fine. Uh, what does it say to do? Lance shot equal to half the ship's starting number of hits. So everyone's so hit by two. On a f two, lan two lance hits hitting on a four, basically. Yeah, it's two lance hits into this guy. Okay. Uh, so that'll knock out one of his shields. Yep. Or his only shield. Oh, yeah, yeah, good point. Uh, into my ship. Yep. Uh, both hits, so that's both his shields. 
uh, into your torpedoes. <sighs> of course. <laughs> and then into... Are you reaching as well? It just touched him. Oh, cool. One, One of my shields. And then you are replaced with a number of blast markers. It should say there on the table. Half number of starting damage. So two so blast two. markers. Well, that sucked. <laughs> That's not what you needed. This um, now, think of things, think, speaking of things sucking, your uh, wardens flew through those torpedoes. Yes. So each one will do two of them flying through. Each one has one turret. So the first one does Doesn't not reduce the strength. So That's seven. Uh, eight. It'll be firepower eight Five. into him. Yes, it could have reduced it to seven. Oh, I see. That's what I meant. But I didn't. So, fives. I want to roll low here. I want you to roll really high. Okay, so one. one, which goes through your shields and kills you, and seven miss him. So he turns into a blast marker. Yeah. Um, at the point of impact. Oh, is that one of those weird dice where the one is the special yes, symbol? Yes, it is. Oh, God. And yeah. the other one doesn't knock on the turret. Excellent. So then I hate seven game. torpedoes to I hate him. this game. Uh, okay, he does die twice, Excellent. so the remaining firepower of the salvo is five. But um, whether that was a good trade or not, I don't know. It was not. No, okay. I was expecting to at least destroy one between the two of them, but you know. Oh, I think your warden might look, look through the uh, the um, starboard windows, which is a pile of shrapnel still going in the right direction. <sighs> okay, at least it's locked on. <laughs> Shut up, Alex. You need a moment to think about what you're shooting with. Uh, Yes. Okay, well, after that uh, abysmal movement phase, we're into the shooting phase. Yes. Dan, blow something up, please. What do you want to shoot? <laughs> well, we'll start off with this. Actually, there'll be these two here can both shoot at that ordnance just in range. Okay. So we'll attempt... Single six will knock out these yeah. uh, remaining torpedoes. Two separate squads, but they're all the same. So yeah, no. it's the only thing in range. Oh. Nothing. Okay. Excellent. Um, then we have, from this boy here into them, Two shots. So warden into the infidels. I'm not going to brace. I think I need to be able to reload next turn. Two railguns. Are they on four or five? Uh, they are. Well, railguns are weapons batteries, aren't they? So yeah. fives. So we roll both. Nothing. Cool. <laughs> and the lance. We rolling. <sighs> Two shots from the emissary. One hit. So that's a single blast marker. Okay. On whichever escort's closest. It's gonna be him. Yeah. And then from the hero, we're gonna go weapons battery. Into the infidel? Yep. That'll be a miss. And we'll do four lances into them. Looking for fours. Okay, that Two will hits. kill one and knock out the shield on the next one. So I'd rather be trying to do it one handed if you can remove the ones closest, replace them with a blast marker. Perfect, thank you. Um, and then uh, we're just going to fire some ordnance, I suppose. Okay, do you know what you're firing and where? Yes, yeah, so we're going to do one fighter into these torpedoes. Okay, so we'll be going to the blast marks on a six just dies. I saw it. That will then remove the salvo. Yeah, which saves me a headache. Yep, and what do you want to launch for your other launch bay, if anything? Uh, we'll fire a bomber at your... Straight at him. Yep, so single bomber. I have two turrets. Not going to brace. I kill the bomber. Boo. Did you, want to, did you want to launch torpedoes from him? Yes, I'll be launching torpedoes as well. Okay. So they'll be going 30 centimetres. Bear in mind if they go for your own ship, they are done. Yeah, I can go behind and okay. clip this guy. Okay, what I think they'll go through one or more blast What do I want to go there? through him in? They would die if they hit the astro field. Ah, uh, inconvenient. Okay, they'll go into this guy. Or they go, yeah. They'll get skim, basically they can skim round the... Back of him, okay. skim into him. Can they thread a needle between those blast markers? Or uh, they no, go... they're going to go for the blast markers. Okay, so on a six, the wave dies. Almost, almost. I saw it again. <laughs> so that's strength six, so it will end up here. Okay, is it hitting just one or is it hitting two? Uh, it will just hit one. Okay, who's touching another one? So it'll be two turrets. I am still not going to brace. I'd like to reload. So, turrets. I kill one, so it's down to firepower five. And Can five attacks on that one. Got to do some damage eventually. You do kill two. Yes. Okay. So you can just replace him with a blast marker, please, and thank you. And you hit him twice, didn't you? So that's down to firepower three now, if it yes. matters. Um, your other torpedoes keep sailing off into the black? Yep. <laughs> 
You gotta reveal something. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> oh no, you touched my glass market. <laughs> they decloak and go, oh, why is space full of torpedoes? Uh, but that is all the ordnance done. Glass markers. Yeah, we have been doing it each turn, haven't we, rolling on camera. Six that aren't touching ships. Uh, that won't place this turn. No, they can be touching ships, they just can't really place this turn. Other way around. Oh, so, yeah, the ones you remove. Yes. Have ones not touching ships. We, we meant no, the same be, thing. They could be touching ships. They just can't be ones that place this turn. Oh, okay. Yes. So right. those are placed this turn. That was placed last turn. That was placed this turn. That's placed this turn. That's placed this turn. And that's There's it. Only so ones that's all turn at this turn. Yeah. Okay. Back to me, I suppose. So we are now on to turn four. Yeah, something like that. It's hard to keep track, and the game has no turn limits, so uh, it's basically whoever tables who first, or if you make it off the board. It's not looking good for the tower, I'll be honest. It's it's not. But I haven't done any damage to any transports at all yet, so... But they're not exactly hard to damage. This is, tr this is true. We're about to find out, because I am going to shoot them this turn. Hooray. But first, well, I'm going to torpedo them. So, orders. I reloaded with my infidel successfully. There's only two of them left, that will be a five power four salvo. My idolaters have come out from behind the asteroid field, and due to that awful explosion, I'm going to try and capitalise on it and cripple the hero. That's the plan, because the shield's currently down. The Inferno is sweeping round behind its prey, and we'll be hunting down those transports if all goes well. But for now, let's try and kill your capital ship. So, I'm going to kick things off with the Infidels. They've got a firepower two weapons battery each, firepower one after all said and done, into the emissary. Because you're touching a blast marker, so it counts as going for a blast marker. So two shots looking for fives, are you bracing? I won't. In the hope you don't roll double fives. I rolled a single five. Excellent, so down to one. Is it a crit? No, thankfully. Down to a single hit. That's kind of what I was expecting, and I'm quite happy with that. Uh, let's then go on to the Idolaters. They are going to put all their shots into the hero. This will be three weapons when all said and done, followed by three lances. Uh, I will actually brace on this one. Going to right. brace, okay. Which I pass. Okay. He is now braced. So, weapons, looking for fives. That is two hits. Two braces. Make one fail. Is it a crit? No. Yeah. Down to seven. Okay. I think. And three lances. That is. Th of course. Three, three hits. One goes through, it's down to two. Well, it's down to. It is not a crit, so he's down to six hits in total. And then the Inferno. Oh, I was going to try it, but he's on one hit now. That's irritating. I'm going to put his weapons as planned into the hero and his lances into the emissary and try to go for the kill. Okay. Do you want to brace with the emissary? Oh, actually, can I pass the leadership to do that? Yes. Did it, you want to brace with the emissary, or...? How many lances is it? Two. Two. Uh, so, yeah, we'll four. try brace. Okay. Do I pass? Do brace. Of course, now you're going to miss them eventually. Yes. Finally, you miss a shot and this turn. Both your capital ships now not firing ordnance next turn. Yep. So, weapons into the hero. Jesus Christ. So, it's three, uh, three braces, please. L2. Are you the crits? No. No, uh, he's down to four. He's crippled. He's crippled. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, and then two lances into the emissary. That is no hits. Of course. As I <laughs> predicted. <laughs> um, right. Ordnance. I'm firing my torpedoes, and they're going to go a lot from him. So we hit both of the transport. Both of the little transports, not the big transport, basically. They'll try brace. Okay, and then they basically fly off the board. Which they pass. They do pass. Okay. And you get your turrets. So for the first one, two turrets. Of course, don't get rid of any. Okay, oh. and so we make our attack run against him. Turrets have yet to hit anything this game. So that is one hit. You get your brace safe. Which you make. And then two three into the other guy. Two turrets. Get rid of one. Okay. One hit. Your brace. That's a kill. So that will kill the one that's further away to hit that one first. And he is braced and having a bad day, you know, his wingman has disappeared. That went um, pretty much perfectly, actually. I don't know how a turn could have gone, and so sorry. Right. 
Ben, uh, I understand you've given up on playing Tau, and you're now playing uh, Fleet Transport. Yes. Um, how did orders go? So, I managed to get lock-off on with this transport. Could you repeat that, please? I managed to get lock-off on with this transport. Okay. Excellent, I'm glad you heard me. Um, so, uh, and that's it. It is pointing now directly at an asteroid field as well. Yeah, well, an asteroid, <laughs> field from a asteroid field from an asteroid field. Yeah, that's, that's next turn's problem. Yeah, that's a problem for future. It's actually got quite a lot of firepower, isn't it? Yeah, so it's got firepower three on each side and a dorsal lance. Good, good dorsal grief. firepower three. So, all said and done, it's got three shots into these guys. Okay. With Let's go on. for it. So, five's re-rolling. Oh, I'm sorry, I, should, I did say I was going to brace all oh. that now. What's that? Pass me some dice, please. Yes. You're in two, don't you? That'll be two, two uh, one. I am braced. So one hit and one save. So one knocks out a shield and a four up save, which you fail. Excellent. So that's him gone. Yes. Blam. Blam. Right, so next is this crippled. Uh, no, we'll do it with this. We'll do it with the um, emissary to make him feel like he's useful or something. Okay, he's down to firepower one. But he's got so a board side on each so side. He's going to go one into these, one into the other things. Yep. Don't know what they're called. So, so that hits him. Okay. So that's his shield gone. His, oh, oh yeah. Well, his shield gone from this. Uh, or was it, I, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, it knocks out his shield. And yours, I guess. Yeah. Why not? Whatever. Um, and then one into my idolaters. These guys yep. over here. That's hit. a hit. So it knocks out his shield. Unless you want to brace. Uh, it wouldn't help against that, but... Um, interesting. This transport is going to try to kill him with okay. a single shot. Nope. Okay. And this transport has one single shot as well. One just in range, looking for a five. I, I'm braced, but... Okay, you, you wipe out my, uh, my military uh, destroyers. Almost entirely destroyers cargo. Destroyers with... Cargo buses. Ships. Buses. Battle buses. Uh, okay. Can I have a blast marker, please? Yes, of course you can. It's all coming up Millhouse. Right. Um, so then we have the hero who has also quartered... Because he is crippled and braced. Oh, yes, so he has a strength two on the right side. He has strength four, down to strength one, escorts, a beam... Over 15, nothing. You're a beam, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then a lance, a single lance. Okay. Hits. Okay, You're not, I'm braced. not braced, that kills him. This kills the thing. <laughs> uh, so it's a blast marker there, and then with my escort, has firepower two, and you are moving away. So that is one. Uh, you're not even touching a blast marker, and you're within 15, actually, so it's still one. Yes. No. no. Uh, and then two lances. Two lances on Two it? lances? No, one lance. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that'll knock out a void on the closest one. That went Alright, it's not nothing. That went pretty well. Yeah. That's a fantastic turn. Yeah, there's no one that's launched because everyone's braced. Yes. So, uh, back to me, I suppose. Yeah, apparently. So we're now into your chaos turn five. We've lost track. Something like that. Turn number <laughs> turn number X. Insert N plus one here. Yes, uh, I am beginning to actually turn around with my cruiser and chase these down. I've got plenty of time, but as Dan pointed out, he could start to split up. Yeah, if I just scatter around the board, what are you can do? Struggle to chase all of you. Really yeah, exactly. kill some of you, but if two make it off the field, that's a win to you. Exactly. But clearing out your military ships is still the best bet, I think. So, we are going to start, you can see what's happened, the Idolaters have moved around here, the Inferno is circling around the Dust Cloud to follow this, because this is a lot of points. Yes, oh, we forgot, I forgot to remove forget? some Blast Markers. Oh, yes. Three. Let's go with that one, that one, and... that one. Okay. These were revealed, so it's D3 bombers and a fighter, it was one bomber and a, and a fighter, so... great. Um, we'll see what we can do with those. Uh, and that's it, that's all we've got on the field. That's, that's my entire fleet now. Two adulters, that and those. Let's see if we can remove your military assets. I so hope not. My adulters, both weapons are going to go into him, into the emissary, so that'll be two weapons. His lance is going to go into him. He doesn't have him in the prowls. His lance will go into your transports. Okay. Are you bracing with the emissary? Yes, obviously. Okay. I do. Okay. What's his leadership? Seven, uh, eight on that one. No, I've got a blast marker. Uh, you're not on special orders, damn it. Yeah, that's a fail. So, so weapons, looking for fives. That is a hit, your shield's already down, that is a kill. Oh, five is just a drifting hulk. 
do for now until it flies into a glass marker and possibly detonates like the other one. Um, his lance is then wasted. His lance will go into him. Yep. So a single lance into your transport. I assume you don't want to brace because it can't actually hurt you. It hits. It will knock out a shield on one of them and also slow him down by five centimeters. Okay, the Inferno is going to try to kill the Emissary, I think, because we're looking at four weapons. Emissary is dead. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Hero, even, uh, who is not dead, but is on his way with four hits remaining. So the Inferno is going to go into the Hero. Do you want to brace? No. Four weapons followed by a pair of lances. Just through flying blue blast markers? Uh, that's a good point, because there are blast markers in the way. Yeah. It's two weapons. Yeah. Is that still worth it? Your shield's right. Your cripples, you've only got one shield. That is still worth it. So two weapons and two lances, but good point. The weapons knock out your shield. Cool. And lances, one hit. Cool, down to three. Is it a crit? Yes. Of course it is. It is a three, which is starboard weapons damage. Cool, so that is... His right hand weapons don't work no more. Oh no, what a shame. Indeed. Anyway. Uh, that's my shooting. And sure. I have no... Well, I have those. <laughs> I have some ordnance. I'll roll for repairs quickly while I'm here. Yeah. I don't. It, your hits... Your dice roll a half because you're touching a blast marker anyway, but you didn't roll a repair, did you? So for the 20, my bomber and its fighter friend will go to there. Are your torpedoes relevant anymore? No, they're just going to fly off the field. Cool, we can remove those. Back to you. Dan... Oh. What's happened to your heavy transport? Uh, it flew through the asteroid field, which obviously I failed the leadership check. Obviously. Uh, I then rolled the hits and hit. Uh, I braced, didn't save any of them. Yeah. Um, so I took crits. No, I saved one of them. Yeah. But the crits, oh, the two hits were two crits. Yeah. Uh, which broke my engines twice, so I took four damage. Yeah. So uh, that heavy transport is now crippled. Very very cool. Can't make any turns until it repairs both those damaged engines. It's also aiming at another asteroid field, kind of. Yeah. Um, very cool. Yeah, very cool. Very, very cash money. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's all coming. Danger. It's all coming up Dan House or something, I don't know. Indeed. What did everyone else do? Uh, the transports, this, this squadron went straight on here. This squad kind of turned around here to come shoot at him. Yep. Because they're doing more damage than my actual ships at the moment. <laughs> yeah, apparently so, yeah. The hero reloaded and turned a bit this way. Yep. The dead emissary just continued on. Yeah, it mostly this did not blow up. Transport turned up here to get away from the impending doom that's this whole area. Mm-hmm. Right. And your warden has come around to chase down my dog. Yeah, shoot in the butt. Yeah. So going into your shooting phase, what's shooting first? These four, these three are shooting at this idolater. Okay, I'm going to brace for impact because you're pointing your entire fleet at me. I do brace. Can you fail a bloody leadership check? Almost certainly, but not, not yet. <sighs> just a shield. Okay. And then this is going to shoot his weapons battery into him. Okay. Which hits. Uh, okay, now I'll knock out his shield. Yep, and then lance him a question. Doesn't do anything. So Hero, his left side guns. Oh, we had an eye, a pair of ion cannons that could fire into him. Okay. Or would be better with what looks out. Is that before half of the Yeah. Cover? So I believe I would have... Escort. No. Yeah, so we'll just do the one single lance into this and hope for the best. Yeah, the shields are down, so looking for a four. Oh, of course. <sighs> and his prowl weapons? Uh, will be zero, whatever they shoot at. Okay. Uh, would they actually be about it? Half things are crippled and then... Could be a single one, actually. Into the adulter as well? Yeah. Okay. Armor five. Nope. <sighs> right, well, we're launching fighters and bombers. Uh, bear in mind, you're halving your firepower. Oh, yeah. they crippled and your starboard weapons are broken. So you're launching, base dead. launching a single bomber then at you. Single bomber, okay. Uh, this is the part where I upset you and inform you that adults have two turrets. Oh, what? Okay. Uh, that's fine. Too Did you now. want to do something else with them? No, leave it. Fine. Okay. Yeah, we're knocking out twice. So we're now on to Alex's turn X. Yes, it's getting faster because yes. there's a few things in play now. A couple of bits of admin. Uh, Dan's got to fire his torpedoes. We let him. His torpedoes took out the fighter in the fighter and bomber wave. I then remembered to move the bomber, moved it to here at the end of Dan's last turn. So my turn 
it will hit that heavy transport and hopefully kill it. I hope not. I hope that it will kill it. Movement. The Inferno has continued sweeping around behind its prey. Uh, it's exactly where it wants to be now, really. Um, I'm going to leave your military ships alone, and they'll take a while to turn around, is the thinking. My idolaters have come in to point their weapons at these guys, but due to the fact that I'm firing an escort that's a beam, I'm actually only getting one shot and one lance afterward anyway. Yes. But it is what it is. I'm going to start with the Inferno into these three transports. When all is said and done, I'm on Firepower 10 down to Firepower 2, and then a pair of lances. Do right. you want to brace? Yes, I will brace. Okay. Just attempt to. You, are they all? What's their leadership? Uh, they're leadership 7. And I am on special orders. So yes, and I'm not touching blast markers, so phew, they do brace. They do brace. Thankfully. So, weapons. Fives. One hit. So that's a blast marker. And then lances. No hits. Oh, didn't need to brace. No. Well, there are the idolaters. Yeah. These so. are never in, though. <laughs> Single weapon. Hits. So you get your... Oh, that'll go on the closest one. So it goes my blast marker here. And then a single lance. Hits, so you get your brace save. Obviously, it does make. kill one. Okay. It does kill that closest one. Yep. And that is another victory point denied. I will make one of these brace saves. I don't believe you. No, I don't either. That is my shooting done, though, because that's all I've got. So my bombers are going to fly into your heavy transport. You have a single turret. Come on. Before we'll kill it. You, yes. get, a, you get a four plus stand. Hooray. Uh, that's removed, and now I'm down to this for the rest of the game. Um, blast markers. Blast markers. You get your repairs as well. Oh, I think we've yeah. got to mention you did some good repairs. Yeah, I repaired this. This one managed to repair its starboard weapons. Mm -hmm. And the thing over there? Did not. Uh, well, still, did does not. not. still does not. Into Tau turn one more than the last time you said what turn the Tau turn was. Uh, Dan, how, how did orders go? Uh, yeah, as usual, I got two off this time. Cool. Um, these went all ahead full to here, so they yeah. should be able to, they can next turn, they can get to here and turn and skim along the edge. Oh, they're escorts, they can turn at any point. Oh yes, of course. So, they're, they're, they're getting there, yeah, they're over the halfway line, and actually quite a few transports are. Yes. Um, this one continued to just be going straight. Yep. This one continued to just be going straight. Yep. The hero turned. Mm -hmm. the, the, the warden? Warden. Came behind, he's come up behind your, your thing. Yep. And I haven't actually forgot to move this. Oh, yes. Uh, it's fine. It's not going to be moving for any blast markers, and it doesn't even move like seven, seven centimetres. Absolutely tiny amount. Yeah. To there. Very good. And you did reload with the heroes. So yes. You've got your torpedoes and your Weapon. launch bays ready launch to go. Bays. I have two launch bays. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, we'll start off with the... We'll start off with this boy. Who's going to warden? Who's going to? So I said I wasn't going to brace, but I have realised actually you've now got quite a few transports over the halfway line, and I'm running out of pieces. So actually, I am going to brace when you shoot. What is he firing at? Uh, weapons batteries into these two. Okay, and is, where's his lance going to go? Uh, lance will go into this. Into the. Oh, so I have to leadership. Okay, check first, which I fail. Then you have to put everything into. Yeah, the so they're getting daughters. lance and weapons batteries. Cool. My brace. Uh, nine, fail. they are leadership. Seven, they fail. Cool, so weapons batteries first on fives. Okay. That's no hits. Of course. Uh, and then the lance. That's also no hits. <sighs> I hate this game. <laughs> These guys fire a weapons battery So into there's them. a new target, so at this point I can brace. Actually, how much more is coming at them after those? Uh, a weapons battery, there'll be a weapons battery and a lance from the warden as well, uh, the hero. Mm. No, I'm not going to brace. Do your worst. Thank you. <sighs> All right. Thanks, Alex. Yeah, I said do your worst. I yeah, I know. That. Sorry. Um, Fine, you're getting two bombers. Okay, that's fair. So he has two turrets. Well, you're getting two individual bombers. So first bomber. You're going to launch them separate waves. Yes. Okay. So the turrets will get to fire at each of them. Uh, okay, fine. I'll fire them both together. Because they're, they're the same type of unit. So... A single wave of two bombers. Yes. Turrets knock out one. Yeah. So you hit D six minus two attacks. Two. Okay. Looking for armor five. You two. do kill him. Stick a blast marker where he was, and that is one one fewer ship for me. Is that your turn? Yeah. Sure. Why not? Cool. 
Back in a moment, the chaos turn, whatever it is. So, it's turn new. Yes. <laughs> uh, I've got very little left. My Inferno oh. has moved around, chasing down these, while trying to finish these off with its side weapons. The Soul Adolator is using the Asteroid Field as cover from your hero. It's going to try and do some damage to these. I'm going to kick off with the Idolater, everything into these Escorts. Going to be two weapons batteries, because there's a blast marker and a wave I want to kill both, which I do. Followed by two lancers. Do you want to brace? Yes. Meaning a... You're touching a blast marker, so minus one. No, fail. Okay, so weapons, looking for fives. That will knock out the shield on the closest one. Now both... Now, power of four speed lovely here. That is both of them dead. Fine, I like to be like that. Yeah. <laughs> That is exactly what we wanted, and then the Idolater... Must into... be nice to do damage, Alex. It's pretty nice, actually. Yeah, you, I can imagine. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, the Idolater into this squadron here. Did you want to brace? Uh, yes. You don't lose much, do you, by doing so? You yeah. do brace. I do brace. You be braced, though. So, weapon. No. Silly corn dice. Of course. Let's Lance. go with brace. Yes. Uh, just a shield. And minus five movement for him. Uh, that's my turn. Cool. Almost there. I, th I think you might get this, because looking at your movement, you are running away from me. Yes. This little, uh, the little escort got the here could. can. He got a massive 30 in total and is all head full, so he is sprinting for the finish line. Yeah, five, four, five, six, I think. This guy was your usual failure and failed his leadership, and is heading for an asteroid field, but yeah. uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come. He can't fail his leadership check again, surely. Well, of course not. It'd be silly. Those guys there, uh, keeping going, they are braced, so they're all headful this turn. But they are. It's going to be down there. And your actual military ships. He's moved in to face the rear of your, your escort. Just within 15. Yep. And the hero is lining up shots on the Inferno. Yes. So this could be a big turn for you. Yes. Um, I am not going to brace, I don't think, for whatever you're about to do to me. Okay, so it is... What do you want to do first? One weapons battery into your... From the Warden? Yep. Into the Adolator? From... Yep. Of course nope. not. And the Lance? Will also fail. Lance no. knocks out a shield. All right. Minus five movement, it's not nothing. Yep. And then same again into here from the crippled hero. Yep. Knocks out my first shield. Slow me down. And Lance to... Takes out the other shield. Okay, uh, quick shooting, but you've got some more than this, haven't you? Yes, so... So you did reload, you are yeah. crippled. So, strength three torpedo can go through you. Okay, uh, do you die for the blast marker on a six? I hope not. I probably will, though. No. Yeah. Okay, and you're then going to be launching a pair of bombers that could not reach me, I assume, not this turn. Uh, no, but they can come around and sit here okay. in your... Uh, and chase me down. Uh, or be wherever you're about to fly to. Mm, interesting. That's possibly fine. Okay, uh, so your torpedoes. I have two turrets. I am choosing not to brace. I Fail do nothing. Both. So, three attack runs, or three torpedo hits. <sighs> nothing. <laughs> At least it's still full strength. This game. <laughs> so much. Uh, is that your turn? Yeah, I guess so. Cool. Back to me. So we're finally here to this point that's not the final point. Yep. We're here. We're here. We're here, guys. Uh, my idolater flew through the asteroid field and, as has been the case the entire game, passed the leadership check without any difficulty. Actually, it was only, only just passed. Uh, it's still passed. Really, he'd be dead, probably. Um, so he is over here now tailing that heavy transport just in case the asteroids don't do my job for me. Um, we haven't moved this guy yet, because I'm going to have to move through your bombers. Hooray, just a slide. So, we resolve it as soon as he hits the bombers. I have two turrets. Can I knock you both out? I hope not. You probably will. Knock one I'll out. Knock one out. So you then get d6 minus two attack runs. Oh, four. Four attack runs. I'm not going to brace. I'd have to call it before you rolled anyway. Because I got two through. Interesting. He's crippled. It has crippled you. That's a huge problem. Are they crits? I hope not. I hope so. It'd be nice to know. They're not crits, but... Uh, I'll get a crit eventually this game. Well, that's removed. I'm now massively reduced. You know, down to 15. 
Oh, interesting. Yeah, and now the same speed as these. And I can I can all ahead full. Yeah, uh, I am going to then turn. But more importantly, you have firepower. Yeah, that's, that's a little annoying. I wish you hadn't done that. I'm glad I did that, I'll be honest. Yeah. Um, my Hooray. idolater is going to shoot your heavy transport, so Hooray. one weapon, one lance. Do you want to brace? Uh, yeah, why not? I'm going to need to be braced for going for the after field anyway. Uh, I pass. Cool. Uh, so, weapon. No. Lance. No. Why is it every time I manage to get brace off, you never hit anything, Alex? <laughs> I just go, I see, okay, your brace, I won't bother firing then. Pretty much. Let's turn the weapons off, fire blanks. I always know how you're going to roll by whether I manage to brace or not. <laughs> uh, it's great, you can dictate how it goes. If um, I fail the brace, then you can hit every shot. Right, my cruiser. His starboard weapon's going to go into your little escort that could, and sure of it can't. My prow weapon's back, but can I pass the leisure check to do anything other than that? Eight. That's... Over there, thank you. Yes, he passes. Prior weapons would be firepower six. No, firepower three. I'm crippled. Oh no, it's all, it's all gone wrong then. <laughs> and I got um, to go the little escorts in front through a blast mark. It'd be one shot through the blast mark. Yeah, I'm gonna. That's not I'm, worth it. I'll just I'm just gonna go on to him. Everything into the escort. So firepower ten half to firepower five escorts that are you are closing. Fortunately. Firepower 3, you win a 15, firepower 4. So four weapons and a lance. Would you like to brace? Yes, I think I might have to here. Yeah. That seems wise to me. Do you pass on an 8? Yes, I do. Okay. Actually, those were 8. Right, let's see what we can do. So, weapons. Fives. One hit. That's my shield. No voids for you. Single lance. That's a hit. It's not a Finally, hit. I made a brace. Good, good grief! It's, it, the tides are turning. The turns have tided. Oh dear! Um, We've tidal turds. That's Tide, my turn. Tidal turds. Oh, your shield's damn crippled. I can't teleport straight. Well, uh, uh. Ah, finally remembering. I can't do it. Oh dear! It's all coming up, Dan House. Now. I don't think you're going to escape. It's your turn. Hooray! All right. Um. Turn, turns of tables, tides, yeah, oranges. I don't. Think I'm, I don't think I'm going to win this. I think you've got this. Um, it's going to be close. So you've gone for quite a decisive blow with yes. your, your transport. I decided the obvious solution of now nah, screw you. Yeah, was to to come kill your, your, your thing with my transports. But there are multiple asteroid fields to cross. Yeah, I mean, this guy over here has just turned as well to basically try and flee. He's now lined up for an all head fall to escape. And your hero is pointing mm. directly at my crippled Inferno. With torpedoes reloaded. So yes. Torpedoes have, reloaded. Uh, what was it? We have two bits of movement to resolve now. So you're, you've flown mm. your escort Escorts. through the asteroid field. So He'll need... probably be fine. Leadership check with a reroll. Leadership yeah. eight. It's fine. You're good. So he clears it. And then your heavy transport. Who also was leadership eight, because it was him and the squad of two. Leadership eight. He passes. He does pass. He's okay, fine. so he just gets to move through the asteroid field. 10 centimetres. Lovely. That's You'll have to roll again. Oh, is he clearing it? Just. Okay. Skims. That is big. Um, all right. D do, your, do your worst. Oh, the, the emissary? 46? It probably just flies into the asteroid field. This okay. seems to be relevant. Uh, 7, 8, 10. and 10. Doesn't quite reach it. Okay, it leaves a blast marker where it started. Oops. Close enough. Okay, shooting. So we have, first off, we'll start with the... We'll probably start with the transports, actually. Transport gang, transport gang. Five power six in the side of an escort. Even 15. No, there's two. Uh, get a brace, I guess. Fail, fail, fail. I pass. Yeah. I don't fail all, does he know this? Yeah. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, joke's on you. Um, what do you get for... Bracing, bracing famously, just make sure your opponent miss. Yeah. Uh, then... Railgun, firepower two, escort, clue, moving away, left, one. So one weapon, one lance. One weapon, yes. No. Lance. No. If I could hit anything, that'd be very cool. It would be very cool. Um, and then the hero, being a hero, and ruining your day, hopefully. So a total of, so we've got firepower four. Throw a blast marker, but you'll win 15. Minus 15? Yes. Stem to stem? Yes. Uh, you're just out. Okay. So <laughs> I could have moved. I oh, moved okay. my minimum. No worries. 
He was originally there. Yeah, it's fine. Things, been, things get So within 15, our Blast Marker cancelling out. Uh, Fire Power beam. 4, down to 2. So it is just 1. Right, I'm not going to brace. Of course. And okay. then two lances. It's one on each side. Yep. That'll knock out my shield. And slow me down again. Yes, that's the real important thing here. Is, <laughs> yeah. But what's more important... Oh, it is the ordnance phase. The, the torpedoes. First off, three torpedoes coming at you. Do they die to the blast marker, please? Roll six. Okay. No. Uh, would you pirates, like to, would you because like... I'm crippled. Do would... I want to shoot them or shoot the bombers? Uh, it's either three attacks or it's 2d6 minus two. I am going minus to... One. Uh, oh, yeah. Minus one per bomber. Oh, yeah. I am going to shoot the bombers. So just make your attacks. One. Is it a crit? No. No, well, I'm down to three hits. Down to three hits. And you're crippled. And then are you going to throw some bombers at my face? Yeah. And they can go around the blast marker, can't they, with a 20? Don't define. Yes. Two, yeah, we measured and uh, we've moved with 15, so I've got five centimeters. Yeah, easily enough. Yeah. Right, I now get my turret, singular, because I'm crippled. I knock out one, so d6 minus one. Oh no. Five. That is two. two. Puts you down to one. Are either crits? I hope so. I want to get a crit this game. No, no crits for no crits for Dan. But I have one solitary hull point. Critless. Absolutely critless. Ow. Um, <laughs> Ow, oof, arf. All right, my turn. I need to do something clever now. Uh, oh, uh, repairs oh. for my ship uh, for the last two turns, because I forgot. Oh, yeah. Your turn. You uh, fix one of the two broken, broken engines. engines. I fix one of the two broken engines. So yeah. next turn, you might even fix the other one. And blast markers. Three. Three. Um, what's going to be in my way? That one. Uh, that one will probably be in my way. That's in your way. So we'll get rid of that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, Got to do something being clever. Back in a second for my turn. Right, this deranged game gets more fine and different. Transports, man. It's yeah. scary. This, um, this thing's moved up and following me. Yeah. Um, it is keenly aware that the transport gang are following it, but that, that's <laughs> next gang. Transport, transport gang. Uh, and my one health uh, inferno has moved its 15 because the blast marker tried to lock on, failed it, understandably. Finally. The bridge is all over the place, the sirens are going off, everyone's panicking, like, we're basically just an engine and a couple of guns strapped together at this point. It's fine. Um, when you kill me, I'll go supernova and kill them. That's the plan. <laughs> what if I move away first? Oh. <laughs> so, shooting, I'm gonna kick things off with the Inferno into your escorts. I have two weapons and a solitary lance because I am quite crippled. Okay. You're not bracing, and I understand that's because you plan to lock on next turn. Yes. Two weapons, fives. Okay, that will kill the first one. Oh yeah. But that's fine, because I only need to get two out to win. Lance! Oh, okay. Lance to meet you. Yes. Uh, and the idolater. Um, single weapon and a single lance into that heavy transport. I understand you are... Not bracing. Not bracing. So we can all ahead fall better. Weapon. Takes out your shield. Can you lance and crit and do a crit that does extra damage? Lance damages. Can you crit and do an extra damage? I told you, he can't get crit anymore. He's had so all crits cuts. for the next eight games. There's nothing left to crit. He's only taken like four crits this game. We hit the engines again. <laughs> I repaired one of those. Okay. <laughs> and which, which reminds me, I'm going to repair. I don't. Your yeah, up to six. Mark one dice, oh. but, uh, they add up to a six, though. Yeah, but you rolled two dice. You're not allowed to roll one. Yeah, so but they add up to a six. Your crit, your How many plasma markers go away, Alex? Um, two. Your turn. Turn something silly at this point. We've probably hit at least ten turns by now. Yes. Um, We're getting fast. Dan, movement. Uh, the obvious stuff has happened. These ran away. Yeah, your transport. He's gone 15. He's pretty close to escaping. Due to being crippled and touching a blast marker, he's gone five. These two, you did think about doing a lap around the asteroid field chasing down my cruiser, but decided not to do that, I see. Yes, I want to kill this thing first. Then Makes I can sense. loop around. Yeah, do a victory lap. Yeah. Your, uh, your escort is following my escort, and the hero is following the Inferno. I did try to reload and fail the first order, which I did predict to Alex. Yes. 
What um, do you want to shoot with first, Dan? Uh, let's do the shots into this thing, from this thing. Okay, that, with those listening at home, that is the hero into the inferno. I'm going to brace. I brace on a three. Excellent. Right, so that is one weapons battery. Or rail cannon. No. Excellent. Two lances. No. no. Excellent. Good. Good thing I braced. Yes. Uh, Moving next, on. the two uh, the transports. I'm going to brace. Yeah. Uh, ooh, they are leadership seven and I'm not, not on orders. I don't brace. Oh no! Two weapons batteries. Knocks out my shield with the first one. Yeah. And then from the. I'm going to brace again. It's a new, new ship choosing me. Oh, it's worse. <laughs> However, if this doesn't kill you, it's a weapons battery. It kills me. It kills you. It does kill you. This, okay. kills, this kills the thing, the small thing. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, you don't get to fire any ordnance because you failed to reload. Yes. So are you done? Yes. Cool. cool, back to me. So Alex, what happened in your movement phase? Shut up. Alex locked on and he moved over here. Yes, and then I thought, right, kill shot on him, let's go. And then rolled the ship to target him because he's closer and failed, so I'm shooting everything into the escort. Who is not an objective. You are correct. I'm also firepower 10, half to firepower 5, being extraordinarily crippled, firing an escort that's a beam. I'm on one weapon. As he has had a 30 as well. And one lance. Oh, don't do this to me. I think it's still. I don't think it makes much of a difference, but I might be. I'm on the border, I think, of. No, you do. Yeah. Single weapon, single lance. Are you bracing down? No, because. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> weapon. Hits. Oh, no. Lance. Doesn't, Doesn't. kill. Oh, yes. Your turn. I'm a genius. Right, unfortunately, um, we just played out the final turn of the game, and in our excitement, we failed as the camera died. Dan, uh, you, you killed me. Yes, the yes. transports turned around to come shoot it in the sides, as it is my escort, and the hero shooting it in the butt. Yeah, which didn't do anything. No, uh, which this all happened, and then you... I flew torpedoes through you, which all failed. And put them and, in front of me. And bombers also sat behind you, not be able to reach. Uh, you then had to pass through the torpedoes, which again, did nothing. Yeah. But then in the ordnance phase, at the end of your turn, after you killed my transport... I did kill the heavy transport. Uh, my torpedoes then got to fly through you again for the third time. And got the final kill, the final point damage they needed, wiping out that heavy transport. Oh, heavy transport, heavy cruiser. Not even heavy cruiser, regular cruiser. It's been a long game. Good game. Good game. Very silly. Lots of fun. Please like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry for rushing it. We've already been through all of it and then lost the footage. And now um, we have low battery. Yes. Yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, sorry about the bit of a messy ending. If you want to see more of it, let us know. More Gothic coming soon. Bye.